say wanted to say something. Yeah, the least, the least, the smallest of whatever we're talking about, the smallest amount, the least. I want to spend the least amount of money on the apartment that I want to sign a lease for. So I have to go around, 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 ask, ask, ask to find the lowest, the least amount. The most is the highest. The least, the lowest. Leave. 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 What if I said, please leave? What would that mean? <laughs> exactly. If I said, please leave the room, that would be, go. go. Leave. There's a, you could also say, where is he? Oh, he's on leave. He's on vacation. Leave. Most jobs, you would have maybe three weeks a year leave. You could just go on vacation or something like that. Not, uh, not be around uh, all 365 days. Each year you have 20 days leave. You can go, do whatever you want. Travel, vacation, whatever. Leave. Or leave the room. Just go out the door. I'm sorry, I can't leave now. I've got to wait for this phone call or whatever. Leave. Leave. To leave. You are number one. Leave. <laughs> well, it, it, you could be the leader. Leader. Yeah. The leader. The leader of the group would be the number one guy that directs the group what to do. If I am leading the group, if I'm a, a tour guy, I am leading the group of tourists around the city. A lead. Lead. Also, if there's an investigation by the police, I say a murder case, murder case, and they come in and investigate the scene, and they find on the body in the jacket of the dead person who has been pachoon shot in the head, an envelope with a name and address. Aha, this is a lead. In other words, it directs the police to look for a certain person. Who is on the envelope and why is his name on an envelope in the pocket of the man who has been murdered? So that would be a lead. You would go find that person and say, hey, do you know this man? You know what happened? Blah, 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 blah. A lead. A way to go. The leader is the one who directs the group. The leader of the pack. The leader of the tour group. Good morning, teacher. Oh, good morning. Good morning. Oh, must be uh, last time. <laughs> Lead, lean, leave, leash, 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 leash. Put the dog on a leash and walk him around the park. And I will sign a lease tomorrow to rent this apartment for one year, a lease. Lean, leader, leave, lease, leash, lease. Close in pronunciation. That's why practice is uh, important, so that you're not talking about a leash, but you're making it sound like lease. I have the dog on a leash. <laughs> what? The dog on a leash? What do you mean? Like the dog is paying rent or what? So, any questions about those words? Okay. But these are the 
types of things that I mentioned that you have to practice and, and get familiar with so that uh, when you hear somebody talking about a lease, you're not thinking, does he mean a dog or an apartment? What, what, what is he talking about? So it's important to, to distinguish the sounds, even though they're very close. There's a big difference. And for this, just is something that, just so you know, if you ever go traveling to America on the money, the different things involving the dollar bill, the American is a dollar, one dollar. <laughs> So, have you ever been to America and you've been uh, shopping or visiting around a hotel or restaurant or something like that? These are things that would probably enter into your mind, possibly your conversation. The basic American monetary item is the dollar. Everything is based on the dollar. The lease of the apartment is what? Oh, it's $1,000 a month. Whoa. Really? A dollar. A dollar, let's say, is 100 pennies. A penny is a very small, it'd be like a pot, in the sense, the lowest coin that America has is the penny. And to make up a dollar, it is 100 pennies. A quarter is one-fourth of a dollar. A quarter, one-fourth. 25 cents or 25 pennies. Four quarters equal one dollar. That's the dollar sign. So we have a quarter, you have four quarters, you have one dollar. A dime. How many pennies in a dime? Ten pennies, one dime. Ten dimes equals one dollar. A dime. A nickel. How much is a nickel worth in pennies? A nickel. Five. Exactly. <laughs> Very good. Five pennies. And 20 nickels would be one dollar. Is that right? Yeah, 25, yeah. And a penny, 100. Pennies equals one dollar. What is a buck? A buck. A buck? Buck is Australian or US dollar. Right, Mr. Singh. Exactly. A buck is the slang term 
slang, just an easy way to say it. You say, can I borrow 10 bucks? Ten dollars. Can I borrow five bucks? Oh, five dollars? Sure, no problem. It's just another term for a dollar. But it's very common. Somebody says, do you have ten dollars you can lend me? Might be say that. But then most of the time you hear, oh, do you have ten bucks you can lend me? Ten bucks? No problem. So you have a dollar is the basic monetary item, the dollar. Everything is built around the dollar. When you break a dollar down, you have quarters, dimes, nickels, and pennies. These all amount to change for one dollar. Change. Do you have any change? Coins. Yeah. Oh, how much do you need? Oh, I need a. I need. I need a four quarters. I have to. Uh, use uh, in a machine or something like that. So I need some change. Do you have any change? Oh yeah, I have some quarters and dimes and nickels. That type of thing. Dollar, quarter, dime, nickel, penny. 100 pennies, 20 nickels, 10 dimes, 4 quarters, 1 dollar. So if you go to the U.S., this is all what goes on. There's no buy, there's no this, there's no that. It's all Nickels, dimes, quarters, and dollars and pennies. Give me a penny for your thoughts. You hear that all the time. He dropped a dime. Somebody dropped a dime. He was arrested yesterday. How did the police arrest him? Somebody dropped a dime. What does that mean? Dropped a dime. He was arrested for the robbery of the bank. We'll have to find somebody to drop a dime. It goes back many years. Telephone? Pay telephone? Ching. We dropped the dime into the phone. Police? Yes, I want to identify the robber of the bank yesterday, Mr. Johnson, at 212 Smith Street. Somebody dropped a dime into the phone, made the call, told the police, arrested the next day. Drop a dime, penny for your thoughts. Any questions about dollars, nickels, dimes, quarters, pennies, a buck? Can you lend me a buck? Lend me a dollar? So those are the words you'll run into if you go to the U.S. and start traveling around. Nickels, dimes, quarters, and pennies. Any questions? Could you please explain buck? I don't understand buck. Buck? The basic item, the basic monetary item is the dollar. One dollar. This is ten dollars, that one's fifteen dollars, this thing costs eight dollars and fifty cents. But, but, but another term that they use for dollars in a less formal way, kind of a slang, term is buck. Can you lend me five bucks? That means, can you lend me five dollars? Can I borrow a few bucks? I've got to, uh, you pay the toll fee or something like that. Yeah, I got, here's four dollars. Here's four bucks. Same, exactly the same, it's just a different a way to express dollars. Oh, four bucks, no problem. Can I borrow a buck? Sure. Boom, oh, here you are. Can you lend me a buck? Yeah, sure. Boom. Buck. It's just a slang expression for the dollar. 
Any other questions about these words? Pennies, nickels, dimes, quarters, dollar, buck. Okay. Today was basic, and here we're, we'll use it in this uh, sentence here. 
Many soldiers start their years of service, a military service, by taking several months of basic training, which involves the first stages of being a soldier. Following this training, the basic training, they will then specialize in more advanced military duties. Many soldiers start their years of military service by taking several months of basic training, which involves the first stages of being a soldier. Following the tra this training, they will then specialize in more advanced military duties. Military duties. Okay. Many soldiers start start their years of military service by taking several months of basic training which involves involve the first step of being a soldier. Following this training, they will then specialize in more advanced military duty. duties. 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 Many soldiers start their years of military service by taking several months of basic training, which involves the first stages of being a soldier. Following this training, they will then specialize in more advanced military duties. Okay. Many soldiers start their years of military service by taking several months of basic training which involves the first stages of being a soldier following this training. They will then specialize in more advanced military duties. Right, very good, good job. Many soldiers, it's almost like S-O-L-D, J E R S. Soldiers. Soldiers. Many soldiers start their years of military service by taking several months of basic training. Okay. When soldiers start their years of military service by taking several months of basic training, which involves the first stage of being a soldier following this training. They will then specialize in more one military duty. Right, in more advanced military duties. Yes, very good. Many soldiers start their years of military service by taking several months of basic training, which involves the first stages of being a soldier. Following this training, they will then specialize in more advanced military duties. Okay. Many soldiers start their years for military service by taking several months of basic training, which involves the first stage of being a soldier following the training and the special in more advanced military duties. More advanced military duties. Following this training, they will specialize in more advanced military duties. Okay. Many soldiers start their years military service by taking several months of training which involves the first